morning vlog. It's officially the next day after the vlog that you just saw. So that means today is our Halloween party. With that being said, I just got back from the grocery store. I bought a lot of treats and sweets and chips and stuff like that. And we still have to set up and decorate. Drew has been home cleaning. Thank you, Drew. <laughs> We got these from yesterday, all from Dollar Tree. These two I bought at Target like last week. Now for the goodies that we have for the party, let me unwrap them first. Let me unbag them and then I will lay it all out and show you what's good. For appetizers, I got these mozzarella sticks and bagel bites. And then to lay out, we love having a cheese and cracker moment. I feel like all my friends appreciate cheese. <laughs> So, and some grapes. I also, I'm gonna make this thing that my mom made when I was growing up. So you use chocolate pudding and you basically just crush up some Oreos and put some gummy worms in and it's as if you're eating dirt. I don't know, it's a fun little Halloween quick snack. Um, yes, happening. pop -em, chocolate donuts. This is for the pudding. Plates, chips, candy. Apple cider, a diet, and a regular cream soda. I got this to put the apple cider to heat it up in the slow cooker, and you add just a couple, you add a cinnamon stick and some whole cloves and oranges, and it becomes the most delicious thing. Woo! And then I figured instead of candy, we'll put chips in these things, and then candy in these guys, and this thing is for the puddings. It's one o'clock right now and everybody's coming at 5.30. I still have to set everything up, do my makeup and Drew's makeup. So, but I'm thinking I can continue doing makeup if people are here, like they know the drill. It's fine, it's casual. Wait, you up here. But I think to start, we're just gonna lay out the decorations and the candy and stuff. So we have a spider web, caution tape, and this. Thing and the tinsel. Drew, I need your help. Oh, that's our different. I put my hair in a braid and it air dried like this. I think I'm gonna keep it. Um, where should we put this stuff? Like this. I think we should, should get the. It? I think we should get the house clean first oh, okay. and like all done. Yeah, you're right. Um, and then do that because like, what if we want to put a little something in the bathrooms? Okay. And what if we want to? Yes. You know, so I'm just gonna finish. Okay. It. So then, I think in the meantime, I'm just gonna fix my hair, just recurl a few pieces. I actually like the braid. I think it goes with my costume pretty well. Oh, let me show you our costumes. This is Drew's. It's a woman's. It's a woman's, but it's fine. It, this could be unisex. I'm not sexist. This is awesome though. And then this is mine. We got them on Amazon. They're just body suits. Rainbow skeleton. So I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do something like the James Charles skull, but the fact that I don't even have to do my shoulder and everything. I think I'm gonna just kind of make it my own. I don't, just inspired by, I think. And then for Drew, I have no idea what we're gonna do. I just put on my costume to see like what it would look like. It's so cool. Look how cool. Rainbow-tastic. Um, I'm not loving that it's just like, it's getting tired. I feel like my tummy is exposed, but it's okay. It's just my friends and nobody cares. <laughs> so. I'm just gonna keep this on because I feel like really cool in it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna change in a second. I'm excited. I feel like in my mind I have more things to do than I actually need to do. Like I'm like, do, will I have enough time for this? And then I'm like, you have like hours. <laughs> actually, I should get that crock pot started. I have to check if it's like something that just heats up or it needs like a few hours. So off camera, I curled my hair extension piece. Um, my hair extension piece is from Frank Galasso, and I'm just gonna add a bunch of hair. And voila, we have hair. I think I have enough hair? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, babe? <laughs> enough hair? Never! It's a vibe. Never. All right, I'm gonna take this off. We're gonna get back into comfy clothes. And set up our first order of business. See, I become a new woman with more hair. Um, <laughs> our first order of business is we're gonna make hot apple cider that hopefully we're gonna spike. No, we are gonna spike it. Um, I am Martha Stewart. Thank you for joining me. 
I'm gonna need a slow cooker. It says you need two cinnamon sticks, one teaspoon of whole cloves, one teaspoon of whole allspice, two quarts apple cider, half cup of packed brown sugar, one orange slice, but it's like I didn't read the directions and I need a cheesecloth and I don't have that, so like to make a spice bag, but what I do have is a tea infuser, so we're gonna just swing it. <laughs> so I have one of these and one of these. I don't know how that's gonna work with like all spice. It's gonna go into the cider. Maybe I'll just like be very light-handed with this stuff. That's the plan. Okay, phone, where'd you go? Right in front of you. Ah! Place cider and brown sugar in a three-quart slow cooker stir until sugar dissolves. Add spice bag. Place orange slices on top. Cover and cook on low for two to three hours. Yes. Discard yes. spice bag. This is gonna be our spice bag. Dear Jesus, be with us in this moment. Two quarts of apple cider. I bought two gallons. Oh, okay. We need to double this. All right, here we go. <laughs> I have no idea if I made that recipe right. I ran out of brown sugar. I only did a half a cup. We doubled the recipe. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. Next, we're gonna bake the Funfetti cookies, which are already pre-made. I love buying this one. It's very pre-made confetti cookies. I used to make Funfetti cake batter and put like an extra egg or something in it to make cookies, but now they make it pre-packaged and it's always a hit at the parties. Next, we're gonna make the chocolate pudding. I really wanted to make this with dairy-free milk, but specifically on the back, it says for optimal flavor use, use 2% milk. Pudding will not set if made with non-dairy milk. So that was kind of sad. So I ended up just getting regular milk, which I have not bought regular milk in probably four years. So that's interesting. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna make this. Two cups of cold milk with a whisk for two minutes. Awesome, let's do it. With every party, I like to put out the bowls where I want them and then just place the chips in them. It just may be like a self-explanatory thing. It actually is a cool party trick to do that. For example, I'm gonna put this guy here, this guy here for now, and then for later. I know those are going there, and these are going here. So then later when they're ready to be put out, I'll just put them exactly where they are. Another thing I have to do for this pudding prep is to crush up some of these Oreos so that they can be the dirt on top. I'm gonna use the milk as the hammer. This I'm just gonna leave in the fridge next to the pudding so that it's ready to go and I'm ready to put it all together. Next, I'm gonna start getting the candy into these little bowls that I'm gonna place everywhere. There are, well, <laughs> in four locations, there are four, four bowls. Um, I ended up going with M&M's Twix Starburst Snickers, Crunch Butterfinger, 100 Grand Baby Ruth, and Reese's and Kit Kat. I think the rest of this candy, I'm just gonna use this confetti, confetti on the table because I don't have Carlton here this week, so I don't have to worry about him snatching anything. And I just think that's like a cute little DIY confetti because people can actually eat it. I've yet to show how we decorated our living room for fall. We ended up just throwing 
the throw blanket over our other throw blanket, putting these two pillows here. I'll plug that in, but that's like a little pumpkin lamp. And then we have our cute little table with the runner and flowers and stuff all set up. And then of course, <clears throat> this little pumpkin garnish. And then on this mirror, a little garland, little pumpkins everywhere. I'm gonna throw some candy on this table to make it even more Halloweenified. I think on this front entrance too we'll put some candy. The rest of the candies I'm gonna put in the treat bag for everyone to take home. Okay, so just for time saver purposes off camera, I set up a drink station and I also hung up that tinsel, made this a little spooky, put the spider web out, put the treat bags out, got this little skull. I put some caution tape against this long wall and then just put spider webs and this creepy thing <laughs> everywhere. We're still... We're still perfecting. I hung these eyeballs on the window. Caution tape here. And we're just <laughs> perfecting the spider webs. So that's what we got going on now. I'm going to hang up this caution tape against this here. And hang up, oh we also have that little witch hat. And I'm gonna hang up this wall hanging somewhere right now. Drew just got back with the liquor. Where is it? Oh, here. So we're gonna spike the cider with this cider. We got some cookies, pop -ums, donuts, Oreos, wall hanging, keep out. <laughs> Question. Um, are we dumping the whole thing into the cider? No, not no, the no, no, thing. they'll do it yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah make, make your own. I'm gonna hop in the tub, reset, and then we're gonna start on makeup. It's 3.30, yes, that's it. That's it. We're doing it. <laughs> we're doing the most. I, I have this much spider web left, so we're just gonna put this everywhere. Okay, so it's officially skeleton time. I put my, I put my costume on. I was gonna do something similar to James Charles, the wigs and makeup skull. But I kind of have to put my own twist on it because these colors are different and also that one goes down to his shoulder and this one is just going to be half of my face. So what I'm going to do is start on my beauty makeup first and then get to the skull. babe it is the next day and I lost the footage from the party <laughs> that's such a cliffhanger what happened I'm gonna ask Alyssa if she has any clips that I could steal but so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a little story time here we go this is what my makeup looked like this is how Drew's makeup looked when each guest arrived, I automatically took their photos. So here's everyone's looks. The spiked cider was a hit, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Everyone kept sipping on it saying it was so good. We ordered pizza, we had a good time.
that the footage that I do have adds some value on how to set up for a party. Um, I really do apologize on not having those clips. I'm sad about it too, but I love you and thank you for watching. And I'll make sure to not lose the footage of the next thing I host and put together. Anyways, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.